Hey everyone, today we are going to make chocolate chip cookie bars with a cookie dough icing on top. They're super easy, they're super delicious, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. It only takes a couple simple ingredients that you probably already have in your house, and everyone will absolutely love them. So what you're going to need for this is two cups of flour. I sifted mine just because it came out of the bag really lumpy. One teaspoon of vanilla. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of salt. One egg. One cup of chocolate chips. Three-fourths cup of packed brown sugar. And one-fourth cup of regular granulated sugar. And one stick of butter. So the first thing we're going to do is cream together our stick of unsalted butter and both of our sugars. Total, it equals a cup of sugar total. And then we're just going to blend these together really, really well. So once these are nice and creamed together, we're going to add our one egg and our one teaspoon of vanilla. And then we're going to mix this together until it's all really well combined. And then once this is all combined really well, we're going to gradually add in our flour, um, which I have already mixed and sifted together with our baking soda and our salt. You don't have to sift them together, but I think it'll give you a lighter bar for your cookie. So I'm going to take just about half a cup of the mixture and then I always mix it in just a little bit so you don't get the puff ball and then once this is all mixed in really well you're going to add in gradually another half cup or so. By the time you add the last little bit in it is going to be a real tough dough. That's a good thing. You want it to be nice and solid since it is a bar. It's not just a soft cookie. Once this is all mixed together, we're just going to clean off our beaters. You can pop them out. And then we are going to fold in our chocolate chips. So now we add in our chocolate chips. I only add a little bit at a time just because they are hard to fold in. So once all of our chocolate chips are mixed in, we're going to get a 8x8. This is actually a 9x9, but it should work the same. Um, square pan, and we're going to put our dough mixture into it and spread it out all along the bottom. So since I have a bigger pan and I don't want my dough to be too thin, I'm just using about three fourths of the pan for the bar. It will be fine because um, the cookie dough shouldn't spread that much. It may spread out about a half an inch to an inch, but you can just use that as the edge of the bar. It'll still taste delicious. You don't want the bottom of your bar to be too thin or it's gonna taste like it's just the frosting when we go to make that part. So once this is all done, we're gonna put it in our oven at 350 degrees for anywhere from about 25 to 30 minutes, depending on how your oven cooks. So for the frosting, you're gonna need about three cups of powdered sugar. It could be less, it could be more. Um, one stick of unsalted butter, a third a cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, and one cup of mini chocolate chips. So the first thing we're gonna do is cream together our butter, our sugar, and our one teaspoon of vanilla. And if you have a stand mixer, I highly suggest you use it. It is hard doing it with just a hand mixer. So you're gonna mix these together until it becomes a nice creamy mixture. So once this becomes nice and creamy, we're gonna gradually add together our powdered sugar mixture. And I'm gonna start by adding in just about a half cup. Make sure after you add it in that you mix it up a little bit before beating it with the blender because you don't want the giant puff, just like when you're mixing flour. So I just added another half cup, so this makes about a cup total so far. And you need enough of this icing mixture to cover the whole top of your bar. So just keep that in mind. And it's starting to get nice and thick. Now we're just kind of going for the uh, quantity of it. So I'm going to add another about half cup of sugar. So I finished mixing together about three cups of the powdered sugar. It seems like plenty to cover my bar. I'm going to pop my beaters off and then we're going to fold in our one cup of mini chocolate chips. So I have cleaned off my beaters and I'm just going to add in about a cup of chocolate chips. 
And like what I did with the batter, I'm gonna add about half in first and then half in later. And you just wanna fold them in until they're really well combined. And then I'm gonna add in my second part. Once these are all folded in, it's gonna be a nice icing that holds really stiff peaks because we want it to be able to just melt over the cookie. So I let my cookie bar bake for about 30 minutes. Our oven cooks just a little bit slower. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my icing that I made and I'm gonna cover the cookie and make sure your cookie is completely cool. If not, the icing is just gonna melt right off of it. And I suggest you um, take it out of your pan first and put it on just a piece of uh, tin foil or onto a plate that you don't care uh, too much about because you don't wanna end up cutting the bottom of your baking tray. So I'm gonna take my icing and I'm just gonna kinda graciously spread it out over the whole cookie. So I've covered my entire cookie. Sometimes it is easier just to use your hands. Just make sure you wash your hands before, obviously. And to spread it out because sometimes the body heat from your hands just works a lot better at getting it on than trying to maneuver a spatula around. So once this is completely covered, you're going to go on and you're going to cut it into squares. And then you can go ahead and put it on a nice plate. And I'm going to cut mine into about one inch squares. So once my cookies are all cut up, I'm just going to take them and place them onto a nice plate and then they will be ready to eat and they will be super delicious. They're good for parties because they're really easy to make or they're good if you just want a nice sweet snack. So once you're done and you've cut up all of your cookie bars, um, you're going to have about 20 of them. I couldn't fit them all on one plate and you don't necessarily want to stack them on top of each other just because the icing will get smushed. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Um, I will put the full recipe in the bottom of the description, so just look down there. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, um, please send me a message or leave me a comment. I will answer you as soon as I possibly can. And thank you so much for watching. Hit your subscribe button if you want to see more videos. I try and put them out pretty regularly. Um, so I hope you enjoy, and thank you so much for watching.